Welcome everyone to Elemental Growth. This is the Psychonauts Guide to Energy Work. 11 Ways You Can Tap Into Your Natural Healing Abilities. I can't believe that in two years writing at Sociedelic, I haven't wrote about energy work yet. But I guess I wasn't ready. Or maybe selfishly holding back out of fear because some of what you'll find in today's video or in this teaching uh, may come across as hippy-dippy or, um, you know, a little woohoo. But the truth is, while what I'm about to share is a bit occultish and, you know, it may be considered woohoo to some, it's also real. This stuff really works. Like Terrence McKenna said, you don't have to pussyfoot around the real thing. So just take what resonates, experiment, and release anything not working for you so you can optimize on what, what you know, really does work, what is working for you, specifically. It's become mainstream knowledge that everything is energy. What's more is that the human body consists of five layers of energy. The first layer is the physical body, but there are four other energy fields surrounding that referred to collectively as a person's aura. Together, these five energy bodies compromise the human energy field. These layers are where our mental, physical, spiritual, and emotional data is stored. Energy medicine practitioners believe it's not enough to treat the physical body when people are ill. They can also often sense an illness come on before it manifests in the body, providing you, the client, uh, more time and the tools to prevent the onset. It takes someone with clairvoyant abilities to see the layers of your energy bodies, but psychedelics like MDMA and psilocybin can help. I also want to add that it doesn't even have to be a psychedelic. You know, some people are born uh, with some of these abilities. Sometimes the onset is from a near-death experience. Sometimes it's a different psychoactive, a herb, uh, an experience, a, a trauma, a transformation of some sort. But regardless, you know, these are some tools that may help open up your third eye to visualization. The first time I saw someone's aura myself, I was working with MDMA. Energy workers train in not only sensing the energy, but helping their clients move negative energy out. People with these special abilities help their clients tap into their natural healing abilities. The five energy bodies include physical, etheric, like out in the ether, the emotional body, the mental body, and the spiritual body. According to ancient Eastern wisdom, these are layers of our being, sometimes known as koshas. Koshas. All yoga traditions talk about energy pathways. Some call them chakras, others meridians, nadis, or channels. These pathways are an intricate system within each of us where our energy, life force, prana, or chi moves. It is said that 72,000 nadis and 114 chakras are moving energy through our system, our body. Energy like water should be moving to keep it fresh. When water is stagnant too long, it grows bacteria, stiffens things up, and in the body can cause many more ills too. There are seven major chakras, each in a specific location along your spine. I have linked the four elemental chakras because I have written on them before at elementalgrowth.org. But simply put, the seven major chakras are the root chakra, sacral chakra, solar plexus chakra, heart chakra, throat chakra, third eye chakra, and crown chakra linked to transcendence. If a chakra is low in energy, you'll have difficulty expressing the particular qualities associated with that chakra. If a chakra is overactive, the qualities are a dominant force in the person's life. This can affect all of your energy bodies. In general, the location of the chakra that's out of balance may affect all parts of your being. This may include your organs, bone, bones, <laughs> joints, and tissues near that area. Or increase your risk for emotional imbalance such as increased anger, sadness, fear, or indecisiveness. That drifter mindset. You can cultivate, lose, your life force energy by the way you choose to live your life. 
In other words, it's your choice. Your posture, plate, habits, mindset, activities, tribe, and attitude will allow you the opportunity to live your highest potential as human or lead to imbalance. Prolonged imbalance may lead to physical disease and mental health challenges like addiction, depression, or anxiety. Yoga postures are great for releasing stagnant energy. Breathing encourages the flow of energy and meditation brings clarity to the mind. Intention, spelling, witchcraft, and psychedelics can all enhance your natural psychic abilities. Also aligning to the moon cycles and mom and nature's cyclical cycles. You know, you can check out my book, Be the Change, Your Guide to Elemental Growth. Um, which really leads you through a year of transformation using mom and nature's already ingrained cycles to help you, you know, enjoy change to better utilize your routines to optimize on everything that you're doing and really just get that alignment. Um, so do check that out. Now, if you're not sure where to start or just want to know more about how you can positively positively charge your energy consider working with a professional in your area or online because there are tons and there's tons more people we need doing this work so if that's a calling of yours you know seek that help and then you know replicate it do it yourself your way bring what it is that you need to bring to this world do your work Energy work has only recently become mainstream, with the growth and popularity of yoga and New Age philosophies in general. Chakras in particular are a complex and ancient energy system that originated in India. They were first mentioned in the Vedas, ancient sacred texts of spiritual knowledge dating from uh, 1500 to 1000 BC. This is a deep rabbit hole to go down, but worth it if you ask me. There's so much to learn, you guys. So much I'm consistently learning. It's like travel. The more you do it, the realize, the more you realize there is to do. And then you do more of it. You get better. You create that momentum. You do the thing. And you do it your way. Chakras play a key role in Tibetan Buddhism and pivotal in Tantric teachings. Without Tantra, there would be no chakras. But more importantly, without chakras, there is no Tibetan Buddhism. Chakras store the energy of thoughts, feelings, memories, experiences, and actions. They influence and direct our present and future mindset, behavior, emotional health, and actions. These swirling wheels of energy correspond to massive nerve centers in the body. Each of the seven main chakras contain bundles of nerves and major organs, as well as our uh, psychological, emotional, and spiritual states of being. Since everything is moving, it's essential that our seven main chakras stay open, aligned, and fluid. If there's a blockage, energy flows are restricted. Since mind, body, soul, and spirit are intimately connected Awareness of an imbalance is one area through chakra meditation, uh, which will really help bring the others back into balance. Now, there's tons of other ways too. Nutrition. Just wait until the next video on nutrition, you guys. It's going to be incredible, and it's been been a lot uh, to really bring that work to you. Like probably 50,000 hours of study, not to mention the money that I've, I've spent. Um, so, you know, really stay tuned. It's, it's a nice, quick little guide that integrates everything for you. And nutrition is a great way uh, to, you know, really tap into your intuition. Nutrition for intuition. It's a good mantra to have. Each chakra holds the beliefs, emotions, and memories related to specific areas of our life. The lower chakras are related to earthly matters such as survival, sex, and power. The top three chakras are related to higher consciousness, truth, intuition, purpose, wisdom, and your connection to the divine. Connecting them is the heart chakra, which bridges the two worlds with empathy, love, forgiveness, and compassion. The chakra system offers a map that helps us see the correlation between anatomy, mindset, emotions, and energy. It integrates the mind and body connection. 
in accessible and practical way. Energy work reminds us that that our holistic beings, uh, what our holistic beings need in order to be healthy and happy. The chakra anatomy reminds us of our infinite potential and guides us to get happier and healthier naturally. Our ability to heal is as natural as our ability to breathe. And through energy work, you can bring healing and balance back into your awareness. Here are 11 ways you can tap into your natural healing abilities. Crystals and gemstones. These minerals carry different energetic properties or vibrations from the earth. Depending on what your body might need, different crystals can work in tune with the vibrations in your body. Try a crystal grid or charging your crystals with sun and moonlight. Number two, smudge. Burning herbs helps rid negative energy and gives you a fresh start. Some, like sage and cedar, cleanse the aura. Shamans use Palo Santo, which means stick of the saints. Just make sure that when you smudge, there is a window open so the negativity you are cleansing has an exit. Not to mention, if you're you know, in a place with a smoke alarm, <laughs> that's always a fun way to, uh, to or learn a lesson about uh, preparation. <laughs> Number three, acupuncture. Cupping, tapping, EFT, emotional freedom technique. This is when pressure is strategically placed um, where there are pockets of energy to help balance the energy systems of the body. Sometimes crystals are used to help stimulate the flow of energy. Touching various acupuncture points on the body in a specific pattern in order to ease stress, anxiety, depression, and possibly even chronic pain. Number four, Qigong, Yoga, Tai Chi. Ancient energy work integrates movement, mantra, breath work uh, to really move the life force energy through you and balance the mind and body. My personal favorite is Kundalini Yoga, which really has changed my life. Number five is self-care. Take the time to tap into your body's own frequencies to promote well-being. What makes you feel good? Microdosing, journaling, uh, you know, helping others, affirmations, baths with Epsom salts, essential oils, DIY spa days with the girls, dancing like no one's watching, or better yet, dancing naked. You know, whatever it is that makes you happy, do more of that. Number six, pranayama or breath work. Like an active meditation, you uh, change your breathing pattern to boost Uh, mental, physical, and spiritual health. Dr. Andrew Weil teaches the 478 breath to neutralize the nervous uh, system, and the Iceman Wim Hof uh, shares a lot of awesome breathwork exercises too. Again, I uh, go towards kundalini yoga. You know, Maya Fines really helped me learn how I could release the DMT both in my lungs through breathwork and in my mind uh, through active meditation. Uh, So that's my favorite resource when it comes to pranayama and breathwork. Uh, However, there are many out there, and I learn from them all and and integrate integrate it all in. Number seven, we have herbal infusion, uh, herbal infusion, sorry, as well as essential oils. So anything can made be made from Mama Nature, and um, you know can really harness all her good vibes and intelligence to promote well being. This is why nutrition also works. You know you're. Um, you know, tapping into Mama Nature's intelligence, uh, you know, aligning uh, to Mama Nature's uh, c- cyclical cycles, you know, that's a great way to tap into her intelligence, stay in alignment. So when you're doing these kinds of things, herbal infusions and essential oils, try growing your own medicine or har- harvest and forage from nature. You know, what's in your backyard, those weeds that you're pulling from your lawns or that you see your neighbors pulling, you know, ask them if you can take it home. And, you know, um, make your own natural alternatives. Infuse your creations with sun and moon energy to really enhance them. Number eight, Reiki. Reiki treats the whole person, including body, emotion, mind, and spirit. Reiki promotes healing, increases relaxation, and reduces stress. Reiki has no dogma, and there's nothing you must believe to learn and use Reiki. Reiki is guided by consciousness. As such, it can never do harm. 
The recipient of Reiki must simply be willing to receive it. This is why I say to all you guys, stay open. I'm sending distance Reiki. I do these ceremonies and, you know, I send them to all of you, but you have to be open to receive it. Uh, Reiki is recognized and used by professionals in hospitals today. This has been a great movement forward. Number nine, touch, hugs, and massage. You know, we may also include sex in here too. We're all touched, are all touch deprived, sorry. You know, we crave that touch. Even if we're in a loving relationship, you may not be touched in all the ways that you need. Or you're being, maybe being touched in ways that is hurting you or harming you in some way. Touch is so fundamental and it is a human need. And when we're unable to touch each other in person, it's important to consider other ways we can touch the heart. Number 10, proper nutrition, Ayurveda teachings. You know, this is and or, you know, you may not be on Ayurveda diet, maybe you're on something else, um, you know, maybe you're just eating whole foods, you're eating real food, you know, and, and saying hell no to all the fats, in which case, you know, I, I honor you no matter what you're doing and what you're choosing as long as you're making the choice consciously. I add in Ayurvedic teachings here because that's one of the originals. You know, and this is one that is really great for healing. What we're doing now is trying, learning how to heal ourselves. You know, I'm helping and guiding you and, and writing this guide out and, and all the previous ones and all the ones to come to help you heal yourself. So when it comes to proper nutrition, Ayurvedic teachings, infuse your food and water with intention. Put in some Reiki vibes. Now, each uh, colored food can be matched to each chakra and provide every cell in your body unique and essential nutrients. Can all your colors eat the rainbow, not a package of Skittles, eat the real whole food rainbow, something from every color each day. Now, this is a great teaching for kids too. Now, I, uh, I'm not sure if you guys are interested, but if you are, you have kids or you just want a, a simple way to know this for yourself, I have uh, both a workbook and a coloring book on chakras and eating the rainbow so send me a message ashley at elementalgrowth.org and i'll get that to you okay this is really important life stuff number 11 we've got psychedelics psychoactive substances that induce flow states can cause brain waves to shift towards alpha additionally sustaining higher levels of serotonin Psychedelics create an opportunity for our brains to make unique connections between areas that don't usually communicate, allowing you the opportunity to heal all parts of your being. At some points in our lives, most of us have likely experienced some kind of energy work or awakening of where your mental state is fully immersed in a feeling of energized focus, presence, involvement, and enjoyment in the process of of an activity. These can be the surfer effortly, effortlessly <laughs> riding a big wave, the coach gracefully guiding their group, or the yogi who wholeheartedly moves through their practice. Simply put, quality energy flow is one of great experiences of one of the greatest experiences. Like this is, this is what it means to be a human being. Blockages are an indicator of illness. Problems always show up in the energetic field first. Let's say you're feeling lazy and crazy but have tons you plan to do in one day. Energy work allows us to step back and access our chakras so that we can adjust and learn from the experience. So that we can live a happy and healthy life naturally. If you're passionate about self-healing with natural alternatives like energy work and psychedelics, then let's connect. You know, I'm sure we have a lot in common here. So just send me a message, as I said, ashley at elementalgrowth.org and begin your elemental growth journey. Send you all much love and positivity. Bye.